Brian and Aaron Morgan are brothers raised in Independence, Kentucky, but the music they make in their band Seabird has the songcraft and soaring melodies of British pop rock. Seabird danced with a major label for a while, but its third album, the newly released Troubled Days, was paid for through a $40,000 Kickstarter campaign. We'll meet the Morgan brothers and listen to their sounds and aspirations on this Bunbury Rewind. I was always like the musician, you know, in high school, playing in bands and stuff. Uh, but Aaron always played piano and was a lot of talent there, but I always felt like I had to kind of like like bring him along a little bit, you know, to try to try to encourage him. So I would like, I would like literally like go out and buy him a keyboard. Like, hey man, I bought you a keyboard. Come play music with me. So we would like, we would sit in in our basement and just like write crazy stuff all the time with this keyboard. And I would play guitar, and it was like, at the time it was like crazy music, and we just thought nobody would ever like this. A lot of the songs in the early days were love songs um, about my wife and my, my future wife at the time, and. And now, you know, we, we all have kids. I have I have one daughter, she'll be seven this year. You know, like I mentioned, Ryan's about to have his fourth kid. So, we, you know, we're family. You know, we're family men now. It's a family band. Um, and we've experienced, you know, victories, defeats, tragedies, um, you know, as families. And so this record is about all of those things, you know, some of our failures, some of our shortcomings as, as, as men, as, as husbands, as dads. Um, but then also about some of our some of our victories and successes, you know, and um, wanting to tell like a real raw story, you know, because there's a lot of things that just feel like people, you know, avoid in music in terms of telling their story. Like, oh, well, you, you don't want to put too much out there. You don't want the fans, you know, or the listener to really know you too much. We're like, well, we kind of feel the opposite. You know what I mean? We we kind of write our our hearts on our sleeves and and put that in the music so that we feel like the listener can get to know us better. Ultimately, you know, we just we just said, man, we, we just love doing uh, doing this as as you know brothers, as friends, and so it feels like writing music for a business just felt kind of weird. You know, we wanted to write music for ourselves and for our, our friends and fans. So ultimately, that's why doing a record independently made a ton of sense. And we didn't you know know if Kickstarter would be the way to do it or not, but we thought, well, if our fans want it, you know, this would be the way to try it out. We feel more free than we've ever felt before as musicians. Um, along with that comes more responsibility. I think we feel very vulnerable in that sense. You know, we're excited for people to hear the record and obviously we hope they love it more than any record we've ever done. Um, but we don't know. We don't know what people are going to think. <laughs> 